Hey, this is Red Cobalt 60. I just made another video to upload to YouTube for Space Engineers. Um, on Steam Workshop, I've had a file up there. I made a model of the Space 1999 Eagle Transporter, and I was pretty happy with it, but there's a lot of things I wanted to change, and finally got a chance to do it. Um, so this is a little quick video of the new changes to the file. You can get this on Steam Workshop if you want to get it, and let's have a look at it. So, over here is my original Eagle Transporter that I made. And I'm getting a lousy frame rate, which is not surprising because of the framework I have going on in this other one. Anyway, this is the original. I was pretty happy with it, but what I did not like was the fact that I could not have the scaffolding on top here. The backbone, basically, the section should be all skinny and pipey looking. And because we don't have the framework blocks yet to work on, because it's all creative mode and we have instant build, um, we don't have that as an option. However, we have a nice tool called Space Engineer's Toolbox, and I hacked apart my Eagle, exported it, and converted just the frame part to the framework. So it's not I, absolutely perfect to the show, but it's pretty close. And this is what I did here. You can see the new framework. Um, I colored this to be like a rescue eagle, which has the red stripes on it. Um, so pretty much I just rebuilt the entire thing. Um, it's basically the same, but I pretty much packed the whole inside with just even more reactors and gyros and some thrusters and tried to hide them all. Um, the handle's not too bad. Um, you can see it sitting here on my craptastic little temporary landing pad which is in the f this is all in the workshop file um, so like I said this one is the rescue eagle it has the pod is permanently attached it does not come off and no you cannot go inside sorry <laughs> I wish you could um, this is if you want the eagle by itself without the pod that's you get this version as well you can do what you want with it how strong is this I really have no idea because I spent more time building it and trying to worry about how strong it was it'll probably break like a twig, but I don't care because I think it looks cool. I'm happy with it. Um, and while I was cutting that up, I saved part of the original eagle and made this little work bee type thing, and I just put a whole crap load of landing gear on the back to pick stuff up, stick to things. Um, probably not too practical, but I like it, and because it's kind of yellow and like a bee, it reminds me of the work bee from Star Trek The Motion Picture. This is the eagle bee, or be eagle or huh, get it beagle for short it's lame but whatever it's cool oh crap I didn't color that right there nice now oh, they give you something to do please paint those two thank you um, oh and also as a separate piece just in case anybody wants to mess with it here is a completely separate standalone transporter section no it does not fit because this is an exact duplicate of what's in there, and we know how close and tight these are. Once you break these into two separate ships, you cannot just slap them back together again. You have to have a s little bit of a gap, so I hadn't really worked that out. But I figured, eh, I'd give it a shot. At least it's here if you want to mess with it. I may mess with it later on, but I've got other stuff I want to try and work on, so this is all I'm doing for this right now. But it is treated as a separate ship. So there's the cockpit. Now, because of the block height, you cannot actually go inside. But, fortunately enough, when you walk up to the doorway, you can access it. So, just T to get in it, V, check out the outside, that's, lost my keyboard key there, there we go. So we have that, and you can see right now it's actually docked to the pad, so this still has some thrusters in it, so if I undock it, P, to undock it, hit some upwards thrust, and she moves up pretty quick. Yay, nice. And it's not exactly controllable, but that's not really the point of what it's for. So, oh yeah, and I don't think it have, I have any downward thrust, so it's just going to keep going. Um, you might want to add that to it. I didn't do it because I'm done with it. So anyway, we get out of here. Later. Bye. Oh well. Um, yeah, so that is my updated file. If you subscribe to this on the Space Engineers Workshop, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. I was very surprised to see downloaded. Um, apparently it's from Space 1999 Space 1999 fans. I can't speak like an idiot. Um, 
So thank you all for that. I really do appreciate it. So I just want to let you guys know that uh, I uploaded this to the workshop. If you want to get it, please do. Um, let me know what you think. And if you do something with it, um, I'd love to know and see what you guys do. Thanks again for checking this out and for downloading my stuff. I do appreciate it. Hope you like the new Eagles, the Mark II. And uh, talk to you guys later. Bye.